it's all ruined. <sighs> I'm Marjorie, and I'm a hoarder. There's an excess of many things. I went to a lot of garage sales, the estate sales, and the thrift store. So I've got extra clothes, extra linens, extra soft goods, knickknacks, and extra housewares. One big collecting, hoarding thing has been books. Almost everybody I know has too many books. And I don't hoard animals. I hoard animal stuff. Dog dishes, cat toys. I have furniture that I've bought, meaning to refinish it. I've tried to discipline myself to buy something, take something away. But it simply became overwhelming because uh, it was too much. Snack time. <laughs> Oranges for both of us. My husband and I spend our time pretty much in, in bed. <sighs> I'm not going to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. We don't have easy access to the kitchen. I don't have a functioning washer. We've been in this home 40 plus years. We owned a small house before we moved here, but this is our main residence for our entire marriage. Please, ma'am, may I have some more? <laughs> I'm Irv, I'm Marjorie's husband. Marjorie and I have been married 52 years. She was the first woman that I really cared about. She was smart and funny. She encourages me. She has always had faith in me, sometimes even more than I have in myself. She has always been a cheerleader. My husband and I never had children by choice. It is a choice. We've always shared that love of animals. We both care deeply for animals. I think that shared love of animals helps keep us together. Years keep going by, and uh, we've had some ups and downs, but we both do love each other. I think the worst part of the problem were the real downhill um, issues. Started about 11 years ago when my husband uh, lost his job. It was sudden. Our income was cut and we almost lost our house. And I think at some point there, I bought and collected more things. Sadly, things around me just sort of give me a cave and I just want to sort of cocoon here. I was a writer and an editor. I always felt I was pretty good at that. And then when I lost my job, I kind of lost interest in just about everything. I was depressed. I've taken depression medication for many years, even before that, but that was like an additional blow. I think him losing his job so abruptly, I don't think we emotionally and financially ever recovered. I don't think that he and I have been in sync or making good choices, and we're managing now, but we're hardly comfortable. It's just sort of treading water and trying to survive, and our world has gotten smaller and smaller. Now, it's getting more oppressive, and I almost feel as if I'm bedridden because, you know, there isn't 
another room that I could sit in and do anything. So I sit or lie in bed, watch TV. I get up when I need to make something to eat or drink, and I bring it back to the bed where I eat and drink. And that's about the extent of my existence right now. It's tough. I'm Corey Chalmers, an extreme cleaner that specializes in biohazard and hoarding. Our crews took the tarps off these two big piles. What about these two, like, sawhorses with the steel on top? Uh, sawhorses have to stay because they're very useful everywhere. This at one time was a pot rack in my kitchen, and now I would like to use it out here somewhere in the yard. This can be folded down. But it's cheap. Mm-hmm. I think that's useful. I don't think it got wet. Keep. You don't think it got wet? It was under a tarp. It didn't get soaked. How's that? Keep. OK, right. the plexiglass yeah. thing sticking out. Yeah. May I have that? What do you want that for? Now, if I have my beautiful tall ceiling cleared, mm -hmm. I get a drill, I clean these up, and this becomes a mobile. <sighs> this is an art project. Sorry, please. No, no, no debate on that one. You will find six or eight more. I'm Dr. David Tolan. I'm a clinical psychologist, and I specialize in the treatment of hoarding disorder. Marjorie. I'm sorry. No uh, yeah, debate on that one, sir. I, I'm not looking to debate you, but you're hanging on to trash. No, I'm and, sorry. And I think you need to kind of see it from this no. perspective. No. You're about to have hip surgery. I, I don't think you're actually <clears throat> going to make a mobile out of this stuff. I, I think this is going to continue to be clutter in your home that's going to be in your way. I, I'm, I will not give that up. Thank you. What do you think about that, Jan and Pierre? They don't take up much space, Jan. I think that it'll probably get done in 20 years, if that. I think it'll be a long time coming before she gets to that. What do you think is going to happen here, Pierre? What do you think is going to happen I with think this it's going to go into a pile and stay there for the next 20 years. That's my concern as well. You're hanging on to things because of projects that you think you're going to get to, and I don't think you're going to get to them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through to Marjorie. She's very controlling, and she really wants to maintain tight control over not just the process of the cleanout, but the people, including me. This goes in our bedroom. This can go in the bedroom. I gotta have some kind of chest of drawers. This can go somewhere where the triple dresser was. Is that going in? Yeah. You, you know where the armoire was. Okay. Put it there. Put the big white thing in the left corner where the boxes of books were, to the left of the window. Okay. Everything else goes back, Corey. Nope. Put this in the bedroom also. We have a lot of stuff, furniture already in your bedroom. Put this in the bedroom also, please. It'll go with that. Marjorie, do you think you might be better off if you had less? I see you turning your back on me, Marjorie. I am but... not, I am not sending anything else here away, but thank you very much for your comment. Marjorie? Yes, please. Do you mean to disrespect me right now? Are you trying to, or no. is that just happening naturally? No, but if, if you keep challenging me, we won't get done. Well, but I'm challenging you to think about whether maybe you need less stuff than you currently have. Of course I do, but not today. Thank you. Not today, sir. Wh why not today? You've, you've got the not person today, power sir. in the trucks here. Sorry.
Are you ready to tackle the garage so we can get to your washing machine? Yes, sir, right here. We agreed that you would try to challenge yourself a little bit, right? You'd try Absolutely. to challenge yourself. Ab okay, what can go in here? I don't, I don't see anything yet. See I don't nothing know. that can go in here? I, I see no trash. How do you see no trash? Do you think this is keep? Do you, do you need to touch it and feel it to think that this I is trash? I need to identify what it is. Of course that's trash. It's okay, an empty that, box. Okay, that's what I want you to see. I can't see it, sir. I'm not standing up there. Okay, you want to stand up? If it's, how about this? If you see an empty box, nope. it's trash. No, I, I want you to identify trash. That's what this whole exercise is about. We said we were going to challenge your normal way of thinking. But I... That's the agreement. I have to see it first. Marjorie, we have 15 minutes. Okay, okay. well, let's... Let, let's just stop. Because Stop. But you're not, I, you're, right. I'm sorry you're asking too much. Remember health over stuff, right? I mean, you have too much stuff. That means you have to let go of a lot of it. You need to recognize that you're pushing me to my last limit. No, I think, you're I think. You're pushing me to my last physical limit. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very uncomfortable right now. If you won't set this aside and get that washer out, just set these things anywhere and stack them back in there, it's, it won't get done, I guess. I, I agree, because And that's, I can live with that, and, but and that's a, honestly, that's... I cannot discuss it anymore. I'm not going to sit here and have four people asking me to comply. I am not going to do it. This is not about you bending to our will, Marjorie. We're not trying to control you. I can't do it. You can't get back I, to that washing machine I, in 15 I, minutes? Not the way you're, you're doing it. I can't, I can't do it. Dr. Tolan, myself, Irv, and Marjorie's friends, we've tried every trick in the book to break through to her, but nothing is getting through, and I don't think it's going to at this point. Beautiful. Whoa. Beautiful. <laughs> wow. And spacious. You can see the windows and the walls. It's a home. Well, it was a little bit of a puzzle, fitting all your pieces in here wow. and making it still functional. Oh, but you guys did a great job. The, the most important thing, I think, is you have a place to sit together. <sighs> Not in your bed. Yes. Right. <laughs> I'm feeling really good about the progress that we made. The people have accomplished way more than I thought could be done in the amount of time we had. I am so very happy. Oh, look at those lamps. Love it. I love oh. these lamps. This is the room, Marjorie and Irv, where you had been spending most of your time, I think, right? Yep. Most of your existence was kind of on this bed, and you couldn't even really get around the room. How does it feel now to see it a little bit clearer? It's almost too much to believe. It's clear there behind you. I can actually see myself maybe going out there and sitting in the sun. Mm -hmm. Nice. That I wouldn't consider doing before. Mostly we're going to be safe. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's what's critical. I'm so thankful that I have a safe environment to recuperate from my surgery and I'm not sure the health challenges my husband will be facing in the next few months or years, but we've got such a good foundation to be safe going forward. If I were to come back to Marjorie's house and she has followed through with the aftercare and her friends are sticking to the plan, I think that we'll see continued improvement. Marjorie seems committed to it, and I'm hopeful that she means it. So the doctor and I are going to leave, head home, but good luck with everything, and please continue to do what you're doing. Best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.
thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.